Hello, seventh graders. This is Mrs. Real, your librarian. And today in this video, I'm going to teach you how to access our eBooks about ecosystems for your science project. If you are lucky enough to have chosen one of the uh, topics below, boreal forests, caves, deciduous forests, deserts, rainforests, or wetlands, your lucky day is here because we have eBooks available for those topics. What's really great about ebooks is that more than one person can read them at a time and you can access them from anywhere, even at home, as long as you have an internet connection. So here's how to access these books. So first what you'll want to do is navigate to the Roosevelt Middle School homepage and go to the lock and key. You'll log into the lock and key and look for Destiny RMS, the colorful tree icon. This is the easiest way to get into Destiny because it'll automatically log you in. It didn't do that for me because I'm using a demonstration account. But if you're a student, it should log you in automatically and your name will be in the upper right hand corner. Like that. Right. Once on the home page, you're going to go to the catalog tab and we're going to search for these ebooks. And these ebooks are in the ecosystems, spell it right, ecosystems series. So type in ecosystems and choose series. All right, so there's some other books that are not ebooks. You'll know an ebook when you see one because in Destiny it shows an E underneath the title. So here are the six books we talked about. And you can click on the book for more information about the book here. Or from the search page, you can choose to open it right from the search page. So I'm going to open Deciduous Forest, click Open. You'll also notice back there it says unlimited copies. That means more than one person at a time can be reading this book. So just like a regular book, here's the cover. Use the arrows to go forward and backwards. The title page. Table of contents. This might be helpful for you if you're trying to find a certain topic. Perhaps maybe you need to know what kinds of plants are available in the deciduous forest. So I'd go to page 16. You can use the scroll bar below to help you navigate to page 16. And here we go, plants. You can change the size. Maybe you want to see it larger. Maybe you don't like that it's on a white background. Maybe you want it on a black background for easier reading. You can change it so it fits the whole width of your screen. There's all sorts of options for you. Okay, so once you have found your ebook and you've read it, and if you like that and you want to cite, cite your source, you can get a citation automatically. So I'm going to switch back to my old tab here. And so let's go to Deciduous Forest. And if I want, I can do the add this to my list. Click in this list. Got some other books in here. I'm going to do a citation list. Click go and write here is my citation for that book. So if you have any questions at all about ebooks or resources in the library, uh, feel free to stop by and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Thanks for watching.